Karl Starfeld is reported to have been in Moscow undergoing a Celtic medical. Yesterday reports emerged that terms had been agreed with Rubin Kazan and the defender as the transfer moves into the final stages. Celtic have until 11pm to register their Champions League squad, but two changes can be made by 11pm on Monday, the night before the first leg against Michelin. Travel and quarantine issues are the big obstacles, facing Celtic with the BBC Scotland gossip page reporting. Rubin Kazan defender Karl Starfelt is undergoing a medical in Moscow ahead of his proposed move to Celtic. Celtic's defensive problems have been heightened by Chris Ager missing all three friendlies so far, with Nibitan only featuring against Charlton Athletic on Saturday. With Chris Jullian still in rehab from knee surgery, there is an urgency to get the Starfelt deal completed. The 26-year-old has spent two seasons in Russia, following his move from IFK Göteborgs in 2019. And appears ready to go straight into the Celtic side. Stephen Welsh, Jose's Erhoguide and Dane Murray, all featured in central defence in the 0-0 draw with Bristol City. Former Celtic favourite Kieran Tierney has returned to pre-season training a week earlier than scheduled, to get fit in time to play against Rangers at Ibrox on Saturday. After taking part in Euro 2020 with Scotland, the £25 million left-back was granted a full month off by the London club's boss Mikel Arteta, the extras midfield ace. But after just three weeks, Tierney has opted to join his teammates at the Orium Performance Centre in Edinburgh. He spent his first day back being put through his paces in an individual training session, according to the Scottish Sun. The 24-year-old one-time hoops hero is now in contention to face Steven Gerrard's side in two days' time. Tierney's return came just a day after the Gunners' dismal 2-1 defeat to Hibs at Easter Road. A side featuring the likes of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Willian, Nicolas Pepe, Alexandre Lacazette and Emile Smithrow lost out to Jack Rossmen, as Scotzine reported. Now the international defender, who played in the three Euros games against Czech Republic, England and Croatia, is poised to make a quick-fire return in time to face Gerard's side. Reports in Saudi Arabia have revealed the mega-rich Riyadh club have made signing the hoops man their priority, after he was personally targeted by new manager. Former Sporting Lisbon and Monaco boss Leonardo Jardim. The Portuguese coach took over the club last month and wants to bring in reinforcements to the club, who won a record 17th Saudi Professional League title last season. Al Hilal are poised to lose 34-year-old, ex-Juventus playmaker, Sebastian Giovinco after two years in Saudi because he wants to return home to Italy. And they want to bring another foreigner into the club by attempting an audacious move to sign Christie, with the move being approved by their president Fod bin Nafel. He would be the seventh foreigner at the club. The maximum allowed by the Saudi FA, and would join Colombian midfielder Gustavo Cuellar, Argentinian ace Luciano Vieto, Mali international striker Musa Mariga, midfielders Bafatim B. Gomez from France and Andre Carrillo from Peru and South Korean stopper Jang hyun soo Carrillo remains their record transfer fee when they splashed out £8.5 million to land him from Benfica two years ago. The transfer fee would not be an issue for Ul Hilal, who are regarded as one of the richest clubs in the world because they are bankrolled by wealthy Saudi businessmen. Like most of his teammates the last 12 months has been one to forget for the former Inverness Kayleigh Thistle man. His disappointments at club level carried over into international football with his European Championship, involvement consisting of 45 minutes against the Czech Republic, before being substituted at halftime. It has been assumed that England would be Christie's next destination but the money on offer from Ul Hilal could be persuasive even though it would put a question mark on his international career. Subscribe, for daily Celtic news.